Hello and welcome to another episode of Flames of War Model Building with Alex Agix. Thank you for coming by. Today I want to work on the uh, the M4 Sherman. I have two different versions of the uh, the Sherman, the 75 millimeter and the 76 millimeter, and I'll just build them at the same time. Show the difference. They're both using the same sprues. They just have different options on them. I'm excited to build this model. It reminds me of that. The uh, movie with Brad Pitt, Fury, and I believe it had Fury written on the gun barrel of the vehicle itself, and um, perhaps that's the inspiration for this model set. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get into it. To start things off, I just realized, yes, the sprue is somewhat the same for the 76 millimeter, but there's an additional one to go with it here. So you build these two together for the 76 millimeter Sherman. And then for the 75 millimeter Sherman, it's just the sprue by itself. Here are the assembly guides for the Sherman 76 and the Sherman 75. We also got the M10, which I'll be uh, building later. And then there's the uh, unit cards that go with it. Uh, notably, these have uh, different turret groups. And a couple of other accessories on the on the front and the back. The uh, the main body looks pretty much the same. To assemble this, I'll be using the same stuff: the glue, as long as there's some some left in there, the sprue cutters, and the file. I don't think I need anything else. Well, let's start off with number order and go with the uh, 75 millimeter Sherman first. Right, so there's some extras here. We've got like a roll of tarp, some fuel or ammo or something else here, some extra fuel, maybe some extra ammo, uh, an extra track wheel, or what do they call it, the bogey wheel. And I'm not sure what these are, but my build doesn't call for that. So I'm gonna put some stuff on the side here. Now, before I get too far, what I'm doing is I'm using this small, ah, uh, this uh, big sprue, but there's a small one here. I want to see whether they are different. Ah, I see. They're slightly different on these driver's hatches. Okay. So we'll use a small sprue instead. Looks like maybe it had had a, some small changes, but not much to write home about. So we'll take those out. Oh, wait, no, 75 is over here and the 76 is here. Go. Okay, and the next is the tracks right from the main sprue.
move this one over here. And this one over here. And off we go. Okay, there we go. Cleaned up the 75 and the 76. It's time for the glue. One's actually come undone. Okay, yeah. 
this is not a gr um, very contact friendly build, this uh, Sherman. So you have to take it a little slow.
the 75 millimeter Sherman, the 76 millimeter Sherman. A moderately difficult build, not as easy as a, you know, an anti-tank vehicle, and not as complicated as a Tiger. Here on the side of this one we have fuel drums, and on the side of this one we have some kind of boxes. And on this side we have a tarp on the 76 here, and on this side I have the uh, spare bogey. And then for the top profiles we have the MGs, and on the front of this one we have a track that's off-center. Okay, there we have it, my first two American tanks after doing a bunch of Russians and German tanks. Here's the 75. And here's the 76, two versions of a really cool tank, the Sherman, the M4. Thanks for coming by. If you have anything to say, if you want to help educate me in any of these uh, these vehicles, just let me know in the comments down below. We always love to hear from you. Until next time, though, when we do the M10, it will be great to see you. Until next time, bye-bye for now.